কারি ব্যবসায়ীদের নানামুখী সমস্যার সমাধান খুঁজতে চ্যানেল এসের নতুন লাইভ শো কেটারিং সার্কেল মূল অনুষ্ঠান শুরু হবার আগে কারি ব্যবসায়ীদের মতামত জানতে রোড শো নিয়ে আমরা গিয়েছিলাম ইউকের প্রধান শহরগুলোতে সাথে ছিলেন কার ইন্ডাস্ট্রির নেতৃবৃন্দ এসএক্স বার্মিংহাম ব্রিস্টল লুটন কার্ডিফ পোর্টসমাউথ স্কটল্যান্ড নিউ ক্যাসল ওল্ডহ্যাম দর্শক আমাদের আজকের অনুষ্ঠান সাজানো হয়েছে এসএক্স রিজিয়নের রোড শো নিয়ে অনুষ্ঠানের সূচনা হয় কেটারিং সার্কেলের প্রমো দিয়ে এরপর পরই মঞ্চে আসেন অনুষ্ঠানের অন্যতম উপস্থাপক কারি ব্যবসায়ী হেলাল মালিক তার আহ্বানে প্রথমে স্বাগত বক্তব্য নিয়ে মঞ্চে আসেন কেটারিং সার্কেলের স্বপ্নদ্রষ্টা চ্যানেলস এর ভাইস চেয়ারম্যান আব্দুল হক তার বক্তব্য উঠে আসে কেটারিং সার্কেল প্রতিষ্ঠার লক্ষ্য ও উদ্দেশ্যের দিকগুলো today The customer around us also evolved. The customer has become less patient. They want their bills printed instantly. They want to reserve table online as well as water online. They also want to pay online. In fact, they want everything online and they want it fast and quick. The Catering Circle, a brand new live talk show coming to USB very soon. We'll address these burning issues and find solutions in the common platform, Channel S, Sky 814. I look forward to hearing from our distinguished guests, experts, business owners in the room today and uh, about what we can do to help save the curry industry. I hope that everyone here joins in and supports the catering circle program. Abdul Haqqir Paul Porjar Krome Monche Aashin, Bangladesh Catering Association Air President, Pasha Khandokar, British Curry Awards Air Podish Thata, O Spice Business Magazine Air Editor, Enamali, MB, UK BCCI Air President, বজলুর রশিদ এম বি সাদিয়া হোসেন সাবিয়ানুর চার্টার্ড অ্যাকাউন্টেন্ট ডক্টর সানোয়ার চৌধুরী এবং কেটারিং সার্কেলের প্রধান উপদেষ্টা ও চ্যানেল এসের চেয়ারম্যান আহমেদুসামাদ চৌধুরী জেপি কারি ইন্ডাস্ট্রির ঐতিহ্যবাহী সুদীর্ঘ ইতিহাস তুলে ধরেন পাশা খন্দকার so many things in this country. We face many challenges during the start of this journey. Without challenge, there is no one year even we pass. 
our predecessors is the courage, they had a vision, they had a target, and they successfully left a platform for us. And we all are enjoying it. This is the success of this industry. We all proudly can say this is the British Bangladeshi curry industry. Any industry could create many economic contributions. It doesn't matter that we are the fifth largest employer in this country. But the biggest achievement of this industry, we have changed the British culture. The curry become a heritage of our life, the British life. We attract thousands of tourists from outside. This industry, these curry houses, and our access all through this country. Everywhere we can easily access. This is our success. The industry started early 50s in a different name. But after all those years, we are proudly give curry a new name. The British Bangladeshi curry industry. British Bangladeshi curry houses. We call it British curry houses. Face this industry's challenge now. First of all, it's most important to unite together. As I said, another way of light I can see for this industry. The industry need more light today because this is the dark time for our industry. If our predecessor can face all challenge, inshallah, we will do face those challenge and remain successful in this country, our heritage, our pride. Enamali Alochana Karen, industry shofalotani. Market has been developed and changes for over the year. People changes for the buying, purchasing psychology has changed. Uh, eating habits has been changed. So, so many things has we have to be adapted and perhaps to integrating for the those changes. And I remember those days I was a student. They are ordering more beer than perhaps curry, and we are absolutely two o'clock, three o'clock, still running and running, and then. What has to be do? Bring the Hoover out, and just to say we are close. They still, they are wants to more beer, more coffee, with the cream coffee and all those things. So that was the challenges we have came across. And today you will hardly find in the restaurant 11 o'clock any customer in. Our children, new generation, they love to work in the front of us, love to run a chain of restaurant, but they are not willing to do to going in hands on in the uh, uh, port and, and utensil and so on because they feel they can do better than that. The reason for that, if somebody wants to become a chef, you tell me, can anybody walk in from PhD holder and able to make a one naan? Impossible. We sent Gordon Ramsay for one restaurant to creating a one naan, he failed. So this is a skill, it's a very important skill and he has to be learned by, it is to take a time. And it's not something overnight you can learn. So I personally feel that we all have to work together Bazdur Rashid Tulit Haren, Kari Industry Report, Immigration Policy Impacted Dikulo. Due to the tightening immigration policies by the government, the Kari industry is in the major crisis in this valuable billion pound industry is threatened as a result of this strict policy. After more than a six decades of growth, the industry is now going through one of the most critical periods of in its history. The point based system means that the restriction on non-EU migrant will not get worse unless there is a change to the process. Previously, immigration laws allowed restaurants to bring trained chefs from the subcontinent. This was because it was difficult to find the skilled curry chef from the UK. The current laws now prevent this. Finding skilled chef from outside the Indian subcontinent is very difficult. If chef from Bangladesh or India started training people in the UK, it would take fair amount of time to achieve the level of staff we need. So, in short to medium term, we need skilled chef from to be allowed into Britain for the sake of our industry. So let us also remember the media platform and boys of the catering circle can give us. The pressing issues we are facing our real challenges today so that gratifying that we can work together finding effective solution kari babsha byabosthaponay aingoto sachetonotar bishoyguru uthe ashe sadia husener boktobbe we all know the legal strains facing them lack of staff lots of red tape increasing high energy prices and the list goes on we understand bca and other organizations have worked tirelessly to try and lobby with ministers and peers to try and get skilled unskilled workers to come into the uk so that we can carry on running our establishments without the fear of immigration officers calling on your premises the government appear to have a running uh, a naming and shaming policy where they call unannounced and place an article 
of the local paper, resulting in adverse effect to the business. Unfortunately, what the government has overlooked is these businesses close down, operate under a different name, thus having an added burden for the authorities to chase them for undue payments and fines. In my humble opinion, they should go back to the drawing board. So let's reach out, pull together and make this work.